Hey guys, welcome back to our video with Tony's Phone Collection. Today we're going to be unboxing a lot of phones that I ordered off eBay. $6.75, $7.97 to ship it. Um, they all look to be all tele devices except for maybe this Hero. So hopefully it's an all one. I do have a Sprint one. So if I can get an all one, that'd be really cool. Let's go ahead and take a look. And see what we got. These are all untested as well, so. Alrighty. Here we go, we'll start with this one first. Alright, so here are these two. that one and this one and then we have another one right here all right so I don't have these devices in my collection I think I have a green one of these ones um, it's the LG AX I was thinking yeah so I was thinking a um, the 275 this is the AX 300 um, this one is blue does have a battery no power um, I do have another one of these that I have for parts let me see if I can find it real quick so I kind of want to mix some parts around and make it all blue one because the other one I do have is blue and black it's US cellular but it's in pretty rough shape as you can tell but maybe we'll some mix some parts around maybe fix that one up I don't know yet Here's this one. This one I don't have as well. This is a, it's a Motorola W, I think it is maybe? No, VE465. Once again, another Altel device. Altel is my favorite carrier, so whenever I find Altel phones, I always buy them. I see it looks to be in pretty decent shape. It's a little sticky, nothing too bad though. Here is a LG AX500A. It is red. They didn't uh, mark if they had batteries or not, so I'm kind of glad they all have batteries because I wasn't expecting them to. But um, these are in pretty good shape as well. I'll we'll get to this one next. Here is a Motorola Razor V3A. It looks like it's got a red water indicator. Um. Make sure you have to be 3A. Um, this one I might take because I just got that one with the box and it needs a keypad. Um, let me see if I can open up. You see, it does work just fine as well, guys. Uh, you see the keypad's missing the uh, center select button. So if this one doesn't work, I'll probably take parts off of this one because this one looks to be in really good shape. But here's this one. No power. Pretty decent shape as well, though. And then lastly, we have a screen protector on this. Yeah, screen protector on this, uh, HTC Hero. I do have a Sprint one, ooh, water indicator. Looks pretty red. Um, pretty nasty in this one too. There's the ESN number. It is the HTC model Hero 200, right there. So it looks to be in decent shape. Actually, it looks to be about the same condition the Sprint one is in, which is in really good shape. Um, see, it doesn't look like it has a lot of use around the charging port, so it looks to be in pretty good shape. We'll have to charge it up, see if it works. Track ball feels really good on it. And it looks like there's some dirt right there behind the LCD. So we'll test them out. I'll do an update video on them, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and stay tuned for the next one.